Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be discussing what is the very best black eyeliner, be it a pencil, an automatic liner, a uh, pot of liner, you know, gel liner, um, liquid liner. We're gonna be discussing it all. I recently had kind of a not so good feeling in my stomach opening a drawer of makeup and if I'm being like totally honest, this whole room has kind of become out of control. Even though I do makeup purges all the time and I donate, I'm just trying to slip into a place in my life where I don't have 50 black eyeliners. I mean, who needs that? I don't need that. I just wanna know what is the best, what works, what wears the longest, and keep it to that. Of course, I will always try more makeup as it launches, but I wanna have a good base to compare everything to, so. I made it my mission, and this has been a behind the scenes work. This has been um, a challenge, if you will. I will, at the end of the day, like stripe on my skin, black liners. I will see how long they wear. I will actually hop into the shower. I will wash my hands. I will see which ones bleed, which ones fade. And to me, in my head, I was like, okay, this is how we're gonna narrow down what is the best. And then I would take, you know, little notes in my Tati notebook of makeup investigation. Um, and we have narrowed the list down. So hopefully this will really help you. I'm gonna tell you what works best for what. We're not gonna make like an hour long video about black eyeliner. I thought I would start with the drugstore. If you guys like this video, then I will go ahead and make the luxury version of it. So you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up button or leaving a comment. And let's just dive right in. We're gonna start with pencil liners that you sharpen. What is the best? And what can you totally do without? Now this category actually surprised me quite a bit. So one of my favorites is actually from the Gigi Hadid collection. Now this is the same formula on, I believe there are other black liners, but it is in a different package. I wanna say that, I'm not 100%. This is just their gel liner, it's in black noir, but compared to everything else that I swatched on my hand, I had to say time and time again, this one stood out. This one right here is the most rich and intense black inky pigment. So if you want something that is so intense, like Sharpie black, you will also love this if you're into a matte finish. I personally like a matte finish. I've talked about this so many times. I don't like glitter in my liners. I don't like, um, unless it's like colorful and I'm doing like lower lash line business, I don't want glitter in my black liners. I don't want shine. I just want it to be matte. So that's just me. I feel like any shine can tend to intensify texture on the lid. I'm just not really into it. So this one is a standout, absolutely. I really do love this. The next one that I have on my hand right here, we'll just kind of go in order. This is from Essence. I don't like it. It's almost gray, it's not black. When you smudge it out, it's very patchy and this just did not get the job done. I do like other Essence liners, so hold tight, but this one is a pass. The next one that I am totally into is from Wet n Wild. This is gonna be so confusing. I'm gonna put swatches and the product in all of my inserts um, along with the price so that there's no confusion with what's going on on my arm. So this right here is from Wet n Wild and that is incredible. Look at that matte, rich, smooth, but not greasy. It's not gonna smear. I do really love this one. And of course, anything wet and wild, you know is going to be super affordable. This is the On Edge Long Wear Eye Pencil. It does wear a long time. Super impressed with this. 100%. Tati approved. Then we have two pencils from Maybelline that I'm not really a fan of. These are just not intense enough. The retractable one right here just does not smooth out as much as I want it to. The color smudges, it's just not the best retractable pencil that I have tried, so that one is a pass. And then we have the Lasting Drama. Now this is a waterproof gel pencil. I'm gonna put it right beside the Gigi pencil and I don't know if it's picking up on camera right here, but it's much more shiny. It's much more like a gel cream texture, like it's a very soft pencil. So I prefer the Gigi one. They're both gel liners, but I am telling you, the Gigi one is not as creamy as this one for some reason. I don't know if there's, if they're, if they are the same and they have the same ingredients, then there's a batch difference because I have worn side by side these two and the Gigi one works better. Okay, so then we have the LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner. This one is not terrible, 
but it's not the best. It's not predictable for me. Like sometimes it smudges and gathers in the inner corner. Like even if I get right in this region here, or if I line my upper waterline, it just kind of gets everywhere. And to me, that's a huge point deduction because I not only want my black eyeliner to be matte and smooth and creamy and long wearing, but I don't want it to smudge. I don't want it to, you know, give me like weird, you know what I'm saying? Like that weird corner grab where then if you like itch your eye, it just looks all bruised and strange. And that's what this one does. So we are saying farewell. And then we have the Jane water resistant eyeliner. This was my favorite for so long. I love this eyeliner still. It is the best retractable black eyeliner from the drugstore in my opinion. Look at how rich that is. It almost has a little bit of a tug to it because it is so intense in pigment. This is the best in the waterline. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it in. You will be so impressed. It is just like the best thing in the waterline. So what I like about that is it will stay like this all day. Like it will just stay put and it will not smudge even if you tear up because I am a contact lens wearer and sometimes my eyes do get really irritated. I also have really bad allergies. So I usually look for a waterproof liner no matter what, like that is my go-to. This one's water resistant, but it's more waterproof than a lot of the liners that I've ever tried. So this is a favorite for good reason and it's something that I am hanging on to. This one right here from e.l.f. is surprising. I think it's like a dollar. So this would be my recommendation for someone that just wants a liner, no frills, no nothing. They don't wanna spend a lot of money. And I mean, this works, like it works great. It's a little bit firm. You might have to warm it up on the back of your hand, but it is very intense in rich black matte pigment and it works just fine. So if you need something affordable, you don't wanna spend a lot of money, but you want something that's very pigmented, then for a buck, this is awesome. So out of my eight liners, I am keeping three of them right here, the GG, the Wet n Wild, and then the Retractable Jane. I am getting rid of these right here. Now we're moving on to liquid liner, felt tip liner, brush tip liner, basically the more wet liners. So I have this from CoverGirl right here, this is the Intensify Me liner. And this one is not bad. This one definitely is not as rich as I would like. The tip of it is very strange. Some people really love this, some don't. I go back and forth on it. You know, it will give you a really nice, precise, close to the lash line line, and it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna be parting ways with this one. And then we have next to this, the Curvy liner. This is the Master Precise. This is shiny, 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 shiny. Why do I even have this in my drawer if I don't like shiny? I don't know why I've held on to it. The wand on here is a little bit strange and I'm just kind of over it. The next two are really funny right here. They're both very, very matte. You really could do one or the other, the Essence Dip Liner or the Essence Dip Liner Waterproof. They both really work the same in my opinion. Um, the regular dip liner does not seem that much less waterproof, so, uh, it's up to you if you want something super, super budge proof that is maybe a little bit harder to take off, then go with the waterproof. If not, I guess just stick with the regular. But my point is they are both excellent. They both dry down really matte and they are both ultra rich in pigment and super affordable. Which one do I keep? All right, I'm keeping the waterproof. From there, we have this kind of fat tipped liner from Pop. This is the ink outliner and she's shiny. She's so shiny. You are the shiniest of all of them. So I'm parting ways with this. If you like a shiny liner and you want something that has that fatter tip to it to give you a really thick line really easily, this is one that stays put really nicely. It does not bleed. It does not um, do anything weird. So I would say if you're someone that likes shiny, you might wanna check this out. But for me, it's just no. Um, I do really love this one right here. This is also from Essence. This is the super fine eyeliner pen. This is the waterproof version. This one, it matters if you get the waterproof. I don't know why. It's just so much better. It just even applies better. It's very strange. This one right here does have the tiniest bit of shine. It's not shiny, but it's not full blown matte. However, there's something about this tip right here that just for me, I can almost like put it on its side and just go, and it just helps me line my eyes very, very quickly. It's super affordable. It's a couple of bucks, literally, and it does dry out fast. You do have to repurchase this more often than you would some of the more expensive liners 
Like this guy right here that's just like staring me in the face, like, you don't need all those, give me some attention, maybe next week. Um, that's 50 bucks. So in my head, I'm kind of like, okay, that's the everlasting Tom Ford liner. It feels like an everlasting gobstopper. I swear to God, I don't know what they put in there. It never runs out, like it never dries out. This, however, dries out in about a month-ish, month and a couple weeks, and you do have to repurchase, but it's only a couple bucks. So in my head, I'm kind of like, that's not so bad, you know? It's a really good liner. It applies beautifully. If you have shaky hands, if you have a hard time applying liner, this would be the one that I recommend just because the tip is so long and it's just so easy to lay on the lid and look perfect. Okay, from there, we have the LA Girl Fine Line. No. We also have the Lash Booster Liquid Liner from Ardell. No, 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 don't like either of these. Then we have Jane Cosmetics who just slays the game with liner. You guys, a lot of the other makeup they have, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really get it. But their liners are so good. This one is this guy right here, which is like the most rich, intense one of this whole row. Look at this. Let's all just like have a moment together and be amazed. Oh my God, perfect, smooth, beautiful, dries down matte, is super velvety and rich in pigment and I love this. Then we have this one right here, which also does dry out pretty quickly, but it's so matte. Like it says it's matte on the actual tube. It says LA Girl Live Art Matte Eyeliner. This is in fact like so matte. I'm gonna do like a large patch on my hand so you guys can see. So that's this right here. We're gonna give it a couple of minutes and I will just show you the dry down is completely matte, like a pencil liner matte. It's so good. So I do really enjoy this one. The only issue I will say is I have had some gathering in the inner corners, so it's not as waterproof as some of my others. So it's kind of like, uh, what do I do? Um, I still use it. I don't always have a problem with it, but I do wanna point out that that can happen. All right, this one right here is a hot mess. This is the Gigi Hadid liquid. And out of all of them, I'm gonna do a close up on my arm right here. This one is just kind of like spidering out and it has veins and is bleeding everywhere. Now the application of this is beautiful. And when I first impressioned this product, I liked it. It had great control, it had great glide, it's very rich in pigment, but it does bleed. And that is a huge, huge no from me. So I'm passing on this. Then we have right next to it, this guy from Profusion, which is not horrible, but it's super shiny. It doesn't bleed, so you know, you got that. And the applicator on here is actually really nice. It's like kind of firm and there's a lot of liquid that comes out. So they definitely weren't stingy with how wet the product is. Like sometimes a felt tip liner feels like, come on, like I need some stuff. Like this is dried out and not giving me pigment at all. So this one really just shoop, goes on very quickly, very nicely. If you like a shiny finish, check this out. If you don't, definitely avoid it. I do also have the Essence Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. This is like the one that I liked before, this guy right here. This is the Super Fine. This was the original that I was in love with. I still really like this a lot. I don't know, I can't really explain why. It just goes on so nicely. And I do reach for this one a ton. Whenever I wear it, it stays put. It's a fabulous liner. So any felt tips from Essence are gonna be great. And then I have this guy right here, which is magic. This is the most magical liquid liner. It is, where are we? This one right here at the end. Oh my goodness, this is just like, it, it doesn't even look like any of the other liners that are on my hand or arm right now. This is the Oh My Eyeline. Oh My Line. I don't know. This is from House of Etude, I believe. I mentioned that I thought this was an indie brand in a video because I didn't know the brand name. I just thought it got sent and was an indie brand. Um, but it's actually a very well-known Korean makeup brand. It's not too expensive. It's one of the best and I've been using it a lot. I love this, especially when concealing a lash band. It is so good. So I'm keeping this one for sure. Keeping the waterproof essence, keeping the matte liner, gotta keep the Jane one, and then my two little essence guys right here. This is still feeling really excessive. Um, I'm keeping six, I'm getting rid of eight. That's not perfect, but it's improvement. 
All right, so, and those are a lot of good recommendations for you guys. Obviously, please do not run out and feel like you need to buy six different black eyeliners. You know, if I needed just one from each category, what I would honestly kind of whittle down and only keep would be a retractable one for my waterline. I just like the finer point for that. I would keep a pencil liner. I would keep a liquid felt tip and then maybe one of these to kind of go over a lash band that has that different type of a tip that has a little more movement and then that would be it, so only four. Still excessive, I know. Actually, no, then we have these, so five. All right, so for a gel liner, which is actually my preferred way to line my eyes, I just think it works the best. I really love the control that you get with the brush. Sometimes I don't have time or don't wanna deal with it, so I like having other options, of course, but I do love a good gel liner, and the lacquer liner from L'Oreal, this is just like, oh, it's so good, it stays put. I love it, it applies very smoothly, it doesn't bleed, and it gives me the right amount of matte, rich pigment that I love. Now I was playing around with the Kiss one and I like this too. I don't want you guys to think that I don't. Actually, I really like you. I'm keeping both of those. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so there we have it. I do think it's really interesting, especially with liners, to swatch your arm up and see what wears the longest, what bleeds, what smudges, what truly is waterproof. And I'm happy I did this because for a long time I would open this drawer and I'd be like, but do I really like those? I'm not sure, maybe I'm missing out if I get rid of that. And I know that sounds really silly, but that's kind of how I am sometimes with all of this makeup madness. So um, we kind of cleared out a little bit of the collection. Let me know, what is your all time? Like if you could have one, one, one only liner, what would it be? Leave that in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I hope that this helped you out a little bit if you needed a good, solid, best of the best recommendation. And if you like the video, then like the video, hit that thumbs up button. All right, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.